Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Snokus. Today we're gonna continue on our Europa Universalis campaign, Swedish Independence, Mark II. Uh, last episode was pretty boring, um, but as they say, um, the old saying of uh, hope you live in interesting times was a curse anyway, so I suppose we should count ourselves blessed that because that we had, bo had a boring time last time. The English language fails me once again. Anyway, uh, we can finally embrace, um, adopt uh, the natural ideas, um, the latest administrative tech, which we should do, since it's about to take over to January, in, and by then, uh, Renaissance is going to give us another percent penalty. So let's do that. And we're going to get an idea slot here. And I think. When can we, in seven years, we can switch over to um, military focus. Let's also, when we have the chance, do that. Um, and I think we should do that. And I also think we should take uh, quality ideas as our first idea group, simply because it stacks so well with our infantry compatibility and it gives us cavalry compatibility and army, army tradition. And it also gives us 5% discipline when we finish it, which is really great. Um, which also stacks with the discipline we get from Swedish Steel. Um, but other than that, um, I think we're gonna just leave this be until we're, uh, we've decided. We might strike up on uh, maybe an economic situation in ca which case we should you know, we should maybe adopt like economic ideas or something or trade possibly probably economic but yeah, i'm gonna leave it be until we've got some points to invest i want to at least adopt the aquabus before we start investing into ideas okay so denmark is on the warpath and england has called us into the war that i foresaw last episode that's fine. Um, so it's it's England against. Okay, it's easier to look like this. France, Venice, Castile, Papal States, and from this side, it's England, Portugal, Provence, Lorraine, and Leinster. Leinster. So yeah, we should definitely accept they are our most powerful ally, and if they can, we would want them to keep their foothold over here in um, France. Yeah. So let's see how uh, how we're looking. That's not a great um, balance of power, really. Portugal is going to be run over by Castile. France gonna uh, England's going to be run over by France. Then with Provence and um, Venice and the Papal States going to provide a manpower to back it up. So um, I suppose we just chill out. Hope that our allies doesn't lose too much in the war. We don't really have um, the capacity to help out. We, we could march down through Europe if we got um, access all the way through. A, lo a lot of fiddly work to do that. Um, and it also opens us up to allowing them to attack us. And... Yeah. And... Um, naval power... Actually, I think we're... Oh, cool. A lot of um, things just ticked off. Uh, I think we're uh, fine allowing our trade fleet to protect the scene here. Okay, that might be a war I want to I want in on. How are your... Um, you want this land? Okay, so what if I say I want this? That's fine with you. Should be fine with you. Let's see. Yeah. So hopefully if they attack the two chance we get a chance to join in and possibly hopefully get Danzig. Danzig would be great uh, simply because of their uh, estuary and um, coastal central trade. It gives us so much. We got we got, um, got a gift there. I didn't see from whom. I was a bit too quick on the button. Okay, so Novgorod is our rival from the other way, or our mutual rival, I should, should, 
should say. I did that simply because I wanted the legitimacy. It's gonna help us out tremendously in the future when we conquer some new areas and want the uh, revolt risk to be kept down. We could send down our fleet and help out in the English Channel and uh, Bay of Biscay and Cote d'Argent and, and, and like that. Um, but um, we're gonna keep them at home simply because our economy pretty much depends on it and if we did send them out they would maybe not be crushed but they would have a harsh time. Even worse. Um, wait. I thought you said they wanted to marry marry their... Okay, alright. So we're gonna see a weak Castile this game. Which would be good if we went straight into the colonial game later on. One less rival to worry about. Which would mean that only Portugal gets the head start, which would mean that uh, England and us would have pretty much the same uh, possibility. So we might actually be a big colonial challenger in the future, if we're lucky. A little bit of luck, a little bit of skill. This uh, uprising is pretty much over. Not really something we have to worry about. We might actually, we could just actually lower this pretty much all the way down. Just keep some up in case. No one order, that's fine. Um, oh crap, the two channels declared. We wanted to be part of that war. They might not talk all this in because we already was in a war, were in a war, but um, that's fine. We'll uh, get a later opportunity. Um, how is this looking? Yeah, we just passed Saxony. Nice. It's a terrible, terrible air that we're offering them, but um, it's good for us. Gonna take this because of the trade benefit. Got more money from uh, from um, uh, from some benefactor that likes that we are at war with France. I'm guessing. Okay, so we lost none, and not really much to see here. That's, that was kind of um, Austria, repaying the debt of Portugal. Alright. Portugal hasn't really expanded at all since the game has begun, for some reason. Um, they just allied to steal. That's interesting. Okay. I would really like the um, Renaissance to get over here. <laughs> it's gonna take a while. It's gonna have to walk across Denmark all the way over the... What's it called here? Oh, Öresund. Öresundet, so we'll get get over to us. So let's get perfect with the extra um, loyalty we have with the burgers here. Let's get uh, an extra stability, an extra boost for our nation there. And we have this again. No, we don't. It's taken down. Cool. I was worried there for a second. Let's take some extra money. And we, we can take this now. Let's give them. Um, let's give them another um, province before we do that. Yeah, that should be fine. Um, do we get? No, we need to get their influence over fifty. What we could do is get a general. Let's do that. Now we have one extra general, so let's kick... Actually, let's do that. And let's kick um, Torstensen. 
även fast even though sorry for the Swedish uh, even though um, uh, he has a pretty good trait there um, we're gonna kick him to the curb okay so we can finally get uh, military tech and after this we're gonna try to focus on um, I'm gonna pick up this um, advisor now we're gonna try to focus on um, military try to get enough points to invest in an idea slot and try to make our Swedish super soldiers and I'm thinking we should invest in a building of some kind we have enough of a bank account to uh, afford it and I think a church is the best idea here we, we need um, a firm and stable uh, tax base and then financial base before we can really invest into um, into the trade game at least for now and I'm gonna start build a spy network here in Denmark both to aid us in our future war uh, with the sieges and stuff and also if we want to claim some more land like Blekinge uh, probably Bordholm possibly more but most likely not Possibly even, um, or also, um, Färöarna. Maybe even Iceland. Maybe Iceland first of all. Well, if we really want to get into the trade game and... In the colonial game, I mean. And um, gain some influence and money that way. Okay, so the clerk is pissed. I, uh, I understand them. We can't give them land until um, in, until um, in two years' time. So yeah, we're gonna have to live with that. We're losing this war, unsurprisingly. Not really much anyone can do about that. The thing I'm salty about is that Portugal and England is not gonna be allied anymore, which means, uh, well, France and Castile is gonna be a real damn power base, which gonna, which gonna, which is gonna outweigh Austria, I'm guessing, and probably England as well. The only positive thing is that they probably won't be able to mount an uh, mount a successful invasion of England. So that's good. Okay, let's get a cardinal, and then we can invest into the Pope next time. I just like to wait for the Pope to die and then invest once because then you get 50% uh, influence or whatever. Unless they remade the, the, this thing again, I can't remember. Anyway, okay, so um, Provence is out. Can't say how many troops they lost. Oh, okay, for the damn lot of troops. That's fine. If uh, if the French or anyone else in the in war makes it over, we're gonna notice quite quickly. So this um, this thing is up again. If we uh, if we seem to be closing up on it, the war is over. I will um, up the military spending again. So in them we'll see a bunch of nations all in France, but we will still be allies. I hope. Yep, all right, that's fine with me. Right, fine. They still have Calais though. Calais, Calais, Calais. Let's start fabricating. We can't fabricate in England. We don't have any adjacency. We can't, we, we can't fabricate fabricate on um, Blekinge um, first of all then uh, we're gonna fabricate on Bornholm and after that on um, Färöarna yeah yeah okay we're not gonna take stability hit definitely not um, okay so now we're gonna gain a lot of legitimacy that's something I'm really looking forward to. 
Let's see here. Starfire Wars. Yeah. Infertile, not great. Advisor cost is really good, actually. Um, and you know, let me let this see. This uh, monarch turned out to be pretty pretty good. And uh, his um, successor uh, have the potential to be a pretty good monarch as well. So uh, let's hope for that. Gonna up the military spending here. We're gonna go, go into the um, negatives here for uh, for a while. Um, local noble power grows. We're well, we could do this. It's not like we have any prestige to brag about anyway. Yep, actually, let's just ignore him. If it costs prestige, it, uh, it costs prestige. It's fine. We're gonna lower our forts as well. Mothball our forts. Save the money we, we get. And we should attack Denmark soon. If we were to attack Denmark. Who would join us? Poland wouldn't because of war exhaustion, so we just have to wait that out. And they wouldn't because of... Well, Livonians wouldn't either because of war exhaustion, fine. And England because of debt and manpower. Of course Pomerania wouldn't join either, which we actually want them to do. Oh, and about that I want to um, build some spy networks here. Because I want, I want the Pomeranian coast here. All right, so Poland is a great power, which is great. Um, England is as well, so we have, we're allied with two great powers. Um, Aragon is, but Castile isn't. That's interesting. All right, so we can finally give um, the clergy uh, another province. So let's see where that should be. We are our... our Okay, it's here, and most likely our um, revolt is simply down, uh, coming down to... The reason for the revolt is simply down to uh, the clergy being uh, disloyal. So um, that's fine, I suppose. So let's make this uh, clergy territory, which will uh, give... Uh, uh, will, it will up their loyalty to 40% and influence to 74, so that's fine. That should remove all that, and they are now happy. They're happy. Um, okay. And now possibly... Okay, whatever. I'm not gonna lose a tax base, so sorry nobility, you're gonna have to be cranky. But that's fine. Um, now we shouldn't have any revolts at all. So let's move our troops down. And let's start spending on some, on a larger navy. Not much to spend on, but something. Um, larger army, maybe. Still want to be an army. I still want to be an army that I can afford in uh, in wartime. Although I could use another knight in both armies. Half a ducat per month. Okay, so Austria again. As of right now, we're spending. Let's see here. Okay, we're not gonna uh, be able to afford that in wartime. Although I suppose we could go into lo uh, loans, yeah, into a deficit and um, into debt if we had to. Anyway, let's um, focus on this first. Oh, crap. Well, we're equal, equal at least. Now we're in the lead. What? What is... What is um, maybe we're just taking turns being the heir or something. Anyway. I, I wonder what's deciding that we're the dedicated heir right now. Oh, I misread. We have 33. Okay. I uh, withdraw my question.
Okay, another ship. Uh, our new ship is up. And we should get a small but noticeable boost in trade here. Yeah, a little bit. So I decided to purchase those as well. Now we got a bit more, I'm guessing, trade. I don't know. Okay, so yeah, autonomy, definitely. Okay, so we... Alright, we should also save money to embrace the institution, I just realized. Um, we actually have it in uh, Skåne now. Now. And we're gonna... We're gonna slowly adopt it from that. It's gonna take a while, but we're gonna get it. How much would we cost to get right now? We might even not be able to. We are not able to. All right. Oh, nice. Very nice. I appreciate that. So, I think this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take... Innovative. Less prestige decay, which is really nice. Um, mercenary maintenance, even cheaper, which is gonna stack amazingly. So we're gonna have mercenaries for half cost. Um, cheaper technology and institution embracement cost. So if we manage to get this before we embrace Renaissance, we're gonna save a bit of money. Possible advisor, that's always nice, not amazing. Um, cheap to reduce inflation. Monthly uh, exhaustion cost, work exhaustion reduction. Lead without a keep, which is also always nice, and even cheaper advisors, which admittedly only works right with uh, our current monarch, but still. And if we look at quality, it's gonna give even more compatibility when, if we decide to, to go that way later on. So I'm, I'm gonna go with innovative. I'm gonna embrace the first, and in a couple of months, I'm gonna invade. Uh, adopt another idea which is gonna give us even cheaper mercenaries and after a while we're gonna get yearly legitimacy and I'm gonna read that flavor text too. Okay, uh, that's it for this episode. I'm gonna end it here. Uh, so I'm, I just wanna thank you for watching. Uh, please leave a like if you like my content or this video and please consider subscribing if you wanna see when the next episode is out and so on. So yeah, thanks. See you next time. Bye!